You guys know that I'm an overly enthusiastic person and even taking that into consideration this might be one of my best cooking videos yet. I went to Barnes and Nobles and I bought an insane amount of children's cookbooks. I mean there's three but it was expensive so it's an insane amount for me. I think we might do breakfast from the pink princess cookbook. I think we might do dinner from the cooking class and then maybe the afternoon snack from the new junior cookbook. I haven't really opened them so I'm not really sure about any of this. My original plan was to make breakfast from this one and then maybe afternoon snack from this one and then dinner from the cooking class one. I don't say this lightly but this is just not a good cookbook. Most things look like something that you don't even want to eat, like I don't understand this. And then when something looks actually fun and amazing, you go and check the recipe and there's no actual cooking. So that was a waste of $20. Then I checked this one and I thought, you know what, maybe this is the one. The steps are, buy the blueberry yogurt, buy the graham crackers, and that's literally it. I'm not even joking. I know this is for children, but honestly, the kids that I know are way smarter than me and they would actually pull off recipes. So so, now this cookbook right here, which is called Cooking Class, as soon as you open this book, it's so much better. It has basics for children, the children look happy in every page, and the recipes are things that you actually want to eat. Everything looks fun, it looks amazing, look popcorn chicken, yes! So I think we're gonna follow the recipes mostly or only from this book for the whole of today, but let's see what happens. For our first recipe, which is gonna be like a breakfast slash lunch, I've decided that we're gonna be making some bow tie pasta because this was my favorite food as a child. I used to be obsessed with this pasta shape, so it only made sense that we make this for breakfast slash lunch. Watch me fail making a kid's recipe. This is this is gonna be bad. I'm obviously half joking, but give this video a like if you guys still want me to try these cookbooks or a different video. Maybe we can make like a bad children cookbook review. I feel like that could be fun. If we get to 20,000 likes, I'll actually make it. Step four, have an adult help you cook the pasta. This sounds like every comment on my videos ever. All right, guys, so I'm gonna have this. That's probably enough for me, right? Mm. So I'm gonna add the water now. The salt goes in as well. You might be thinking, shouldn't the water be already boiling? But the thing is, I've read in a very acclaimed publication that it actually doesn't make a difference, so thank you BuzzFeed. So now that the pasta is cooking, we're gonna go ahead and carry on with our lunch. Step number one, cut the mozzarella into bite-sized pieces and place in a large serving bowl. Okay. I don't think we're gonna need even half of this amount of mozzarella, so I'm gonna cut like this bit right here. That seems like more than enough. I don't know exactly what a bite-sized piece is, but I'm not gonna put too much effort into this because it's cheese, it's probably gonna melt when it touches the pasta. All right, so we do it like that, I guess. So now we add this to our big bowl. Step number two is snip the pasta leaves with clean scissors and measure about one third cup into the bowl. We don't do measurements around here, but that's cute that you're trying. So I bought only a little bit of basil, so we need to snip the leaves, which is, I guess, just doing this. It smells so good. I usually hate vegetables, but not basil. This makes everything taste like pasta or lasagna or pizza, and I'm here for it. I've seen Gordon Ramsay do this. He tucks it all in and then just does this. Hey, that's actually <laughs> not the worst. So we're gonna add the basil in. This is looking really good. We are practically chefs. I love that the only time we're actually not sucking at something, it's because it's a children's cookbook. Maybe that's what I was meant to do all along. Add the olive oil, tomatoes, garlic, and salt into the bowl. Okay, that seems like a lot in one step. So we're gonna start with the salt. Maybe a little bit more. I didn't really buy olive oil because it was a little pricey and I'm probably not gonna finish everything because I'm going back home. So I'm gonna use some of this olive oil spray. I guess it's the same thing. Wow. That is incredibly powerful and I love it. So thankfully in America, they've also got this garlic that comes already prepared, yes. So the garlic goes in. I'm not really sure if we should chop the tomatoes. I feel like we probably should. I'm trying to be lazy, but... So the tomatoes go in as well. 
This is looking so good. I hope it looks as good on camera as it does IRL. This would be the only salad I would actually eat because all of these are like vegetables, but not really. I feel like the past is kind of ready and honestly, if it's not, I'm okay with it. So we're gonna drain it a little bit and just add it straight into our bowl. Honestly, not my worst work so far. I mean guys, is it just me or does this not look incredible? This is honestly the perfect cookbook for me, like things that I can actually make and things that I actually love. So here we've got the children's cookbook Bowtie Pasta with Tomatoes, Basil and Fresh Mozzarella and here we've got my very own Bowtie Pasta. I think they look very similar. I mean this is a children's recipe so I'm not gonna give myself that much credit. I think it looks decent, I think it looks good and I honestly cannot wait to try it. I have a feeling that this is gonna be so good. It honestly smells incredible. It smells like pizza. If you love Italian food, I bet you'd love this. And if you don't love Italian food, then we could never be friends. Oh my god. I am dead. <laughs> I wanna FaceTime my mom right now, but I'm not gonna do it because I wanna make a separate video with my mom. This is incredible. It's better than my mom's pasta that she used to make when I was little and I think I just spit everywhere. I thought I made an insane amount, but honestly, this is gonna go in three minutes. If anything fails, I could at least attempt a career in children's cooking, because this is, this is pretty bomb. I know it's hard to believe, but I would have honestly not done anything different about this. Just perfect. So I'm gonna carry on eating my breakfast slash lunch and I'm gonna see you guys in like 20 minutes to make the afternoon snack. And for afternoon snack, you guys know that I like to do something sweet to create like a balance in the video. So I saw this very vanilla pudding recipe and honestly, these look incredible. And I think this one's a little more complicated because it's got two pages. So it also teaches me how to separate the eggs and honestly, I need that. I'm probably gonna skip the fruit as a topping because it's me, so I'm gonna go straight for the cream or icing or any like sprinkles just when you think there's nothing in the house for dessert think again if you have milk eggs and sugar you can stir up your very own homemade pudding I appreciate the tip but if I say there's nothing at home I usually means there's like half a bottle of mayo and water and that's literally it step number one in a medium saucepan uh, whisk together the sugar corn starch and salt Add the milk and the egg yolks and whisk until combined. Three cups of milk. That's probably it. Two thirds of a cup of sugar. It's probably that actually. Maybe a little more for your good luck. So I'm gonna open the cornstarch and we need about one quarter of a cup of cornstarch. So that's not much. I reckon that's probably it. I should have read the chapter on how to separate eggs. So one egg yolk. Oh, it broke. Oh, it's okay. It's okay. All right, three egg yolks and I think that's it. So we're gonna put the egg yolks in. Step number two, heat the pudding over medium heat, stirring until it thickens and bubbles five to seven minutes. Continue cooking for one minute more. All right, it doesn't feel lumpy anymore. It's like pretty smooth, but it's very liquidy now. So I'm gonna increase the heat a little bit. So this is getting a lot thicker now. It's a little lumpy, not gonna lie. This happened so quickly. Step number three is to turn off the heat and stir in the vanilla extract. I'm actually gonna be using some banana flavoring instead because we don't really have that in England a whole lot. So I saw it at the shop and I was like, I need that. I'm gonna add the banana flavoring. Stir it all in. So I'm gonna pour the custard right in here. So this is me attempting to make this look smooth. The actual consistency is smooth, 
but it looks a little, because it's so thick, it looks a little weird on the balls. I think the future of my YouTube channel is to do children cooking because I'm okay at this. I'm really not bad at this. I've got no idea how this happened, but I managed to get some rice whipped cream. Interesting. Not terrible. And now to the part that I've been waiting for. This is some Betty Crocker's candy shop decor. This is like pink rock candy. So we're gonna put the rock candy right on top. This is honestly everything. So here we've got the children's cookbook, Very Vanilla Pudding. And here we've got my very own Very Vanilla Pudding. It looks good and these sugar crystals that we use actually make this look so much cooler. This doesn't happen very often, but I'm actually excited to eat these. You know when I'm sitting on the floor, we're about to eat some delicious food or not. I mean, I made this, it might be terrible. So this is the Very Vanilla Custard and it looks like a mess right now because the cream melted, so it's like weirdly liquid. It's a little on the thick side, so if you like thick custard, you probably like this. I made this. I made this. I mean, it is the first banana custard I've ever had, but it's honestly incredible, guys. It's so good. Mmm. Who knew that I had this salad inside of me all along? All I ever needed was a children's cookbook for it to shine. The only thing I'm not crazy about is the rice whipped cream on top. That's kind of weird. I don't know why I bought that. I should have sticked to normal whipped cream. But the, ac the actual custard is a 10 out of 10. And I don't say that very often, and I definitely don't say that about my cooking. So if you want to give this a try, I think you should. It's not lightly that I say this, because I never say this on my channel, but I thought that for dinner we should make something healthy. We had pasta for breakfast, we had custard for afternoon snacks, so I thought, let's go a little lighter on dinner. I found this recipe for lettuce roll-ups. The actual recipe is simple, but I think the difficult part is to make this look good because physically I think I'm gonna struggle with this so I thought that's probably gonna be good content. The ingredients are pretty simple lettuce, mayo, slices of meat and cheese and toothpicks and that's basically it. So I'm gonna open up the ham. So this is turkey breast and I'm gonna place it on the first one. Okay we need a couple slices of this. So we also need a few slices of cheese. And here we've got the lettuce, and I tried to go for like the biggest lettuce that I could find. This looks like it's not gonna taste any good. I mean, it's a vegetable. I'm just gonna make sure I dry the lettuce really well. So I'm gonna cut the little end, because I feel like it's not gonna be very easy to work with the crunchy bit. Step number one, place a lettuce leaf on a cutting board and carefully spread it with mustard or mayo. So we're gonna do mayo. Is that too much? So we're gonna spread this. You only get me to eat vegetables if it's so covered in mayo that you can't see the green anymore. Step number two is add a slice of meat and top it with a slice of cheese. So we're gonna add the meat. Mm, we're doing two slices because this is for kids. I'm a grown person who needs to be fed. So top it with a slice of cheese as well. Should we do two slices of cheese? That'll be fine. Roll up the leaves as shown. I mean, that picture literally makes no sense. And cut in half and push a toothpick to hold it together. We need toothpicks. I even bought colorful toothpicks for the kids theme. Why do I have a terrible feeling about this? So let's start rolling it like this. Oh my God. Why is he breaking? No. All right, I mean, not terrible, I guess. So now I'm gonna put a toothpick in here and another toothpick on this side. So we're going to slice it right in the center. Please do not fall apart. 
this cookbook is better than any grown-up cookbook I've ever seen. Like, things actually work as it's described. Look at that. That actually, this actually looks exactly like the ones in the book. Because this is just lettuce, I'm gonna make one more and then I'm gonna show you the final result in just a second. So here we've got the children's cookbook lettuce roll-ups. I mean, as far as healthy food goes, these look pretty incredible. So these are the children's cookbook lettuce roll-ups. And here we've got my very own lettuce roll-ups. I'm gonna say that they look practically the same. Okay, the first one fell apart a little bit. The other ones look pretty perfect. I thought this was gonna be very difficult, but I guess the secret to being successful at cooking is to always follow children's recipes. These four pieces of lettuce have got more mayo than I've probably eaten in my whole life, so I actually think this is gonna taste delicious, so let's go give it a try. These look so good that I actually made eight of these. Four that I'm gonna be having later when it's actually dinner time, and another four that I'm gonna be trying on camera. I'm oddly convinced that I'm gonna love lettuce. And that never happened if you go and watch my videos. Screenshot this moment, save it in your photos, print it, frame it, put it in your bedroom because I never eat vegetables. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> this doesn't even taste like lettuce anymore, it just tastes like mayo. Not very easy to eat. Mm. Being completely honest guys, this got so much mayo that I actually can taste the lettuce. This does not taste healthy, it does not taste like vegetables, and I love every second of it. That is too much mayo. I actually love that. I feel like this is the only time on my channel that I'm very pleased with all three recipes in one of these cookbook review series. Who knew that I had this inside of me all along? This is ridiculous and I'm so happy that I did well at doing a children's cookbook. I should actually be sad that this is the only thing I'm good at. But I'm not. <laughs> if you guys like this video and you want me to try the other cookbooks, like the Princess Cookbook and the other one, definitely give this video a like. If we get to 20,000 likes, I promise I will actually make it. Because that usually tells me that a lot of you guys are actually interested. If you're not subscribed to my channel yet, all you have to do is scroll down and there's a subscribe button and a little bell. And I hate that I say this in every video, and I hate that I say that I hate this in every video. Wait, that doesn't make any sense. If you do tap the subscribe button and the little bell, it really helps my channel out, and I really, from the bottom of my heart, kind of hurt myself there. I really appreciate it, and it means a lot to me, so thank you. I'm flying back to London very soon. I spent $100 on cookbooks that you guys are gonna see in the next, like, three months. So, so there's gonna be a lot of good things coming up in, like, the next three months because I bought that many cookbooks. That's about it for this video, guys. I love you, and I will see you on my next video, which is probably tomorrow. Bye-bye.